Hello, Year 4. Um, I hope you're well. Uh, my name's Kate. I've been asked to talk to you a little bit about resilience and how I achieved my goals um, of becoming an opera singer. I've been in this job now for 23 years. Um, there's been many ups and many downs. Um, one of the most important things, I think, about resilience and achieving anything is the failure part and there are moments where you will feel like you're failing and it's very difficult to get your head around this but it's in those moments where you are actually doing the learning and the growing so uh, at the times in my career when I for example have not gotten the part that I thought I wanted or if you um, didn't get into the netball team that you wanted or if you didn't get the grade you wanted in an exam. What this forces you to do is it forces you to rethink, rethink your strategy and it forces you to make changes. So for me that has been one of the most important factors is when you feel like you're failing, that is when you are actually gaining in strength. I think I knew that I wanted to be an actress from a very young age and I know that Talbot Heath was incredibly supportive and encouraging of those dreams. I was lucky enough to do lots of plays at school. Um, I think I was even in a play with your dear teacher, Mrs Brown. Um, and then when I left Talbot Heath, I, I always thought I would set myself up with options. I was always told that you should have something to fall back on. And as much as I do believe that, and I do think that it's important to have as many options and skills as you possibly can, I also knew what I wanted and I didn't want to waste my time. So I applied for drama school as soon as I'd done my A-levels. I had a place at university on deferred entry. So I applied for drama school and I thought to myself, if I don't get in, I will take a gap year, I will try again. And if I still don't get in, I can go to university. I was extremely lucky and I got a place at drama school as soon as I left school. So I then started a three year training at Drama Centre London. I then left Drama Centre and once again was lucky in that I landed a, a good role as soon as I left. However, that's the positive side of things and that's what the newspapers tell you and that's what um, what people know. But when I left drama school, I was in the casting for a very big movie, which went very far down the road of the movie and I signed contracts. And in my mind, I was walking a red carpet. I was choosing an outfit for the Oscars and the movie fell through and it didn't happen. And it was a lesson I learned very, very early on about whether it be rejection or whether it just be things don't always happen as you imagine. And it was an incredibly important lesson to learn. You know, I've been working now for 20 years in this industry and the rejection, does it get easier? I don't know if it gets easier. Maybe I'm just more skilled at dealing with it. Um, and it hurts every time. And I think one has to build up an enormous resilience and a sense of self-belief. I would probably say I'm quite stubborn, which means that however tough it gets, I'm not gonna give up. And I do feel that my early learning at Talbot Heath, my friendships I made there, the lessons I learned, the experience of being in that wonderful school gave me an incredibly firm foundation for happiness, for self-belief, and for strength. Hi, my name's Antonia Pennell, and I was at Talbot Heath between 1986 and 1996. I left in 1996 to go to Birmingham University, where I studied medicine, and I'm now a doctor working in Birmingham. I work as a general practitioner. Talbot Youth taught me many things. It taught me 
how to work very hard to achieve the academic skills and exams that you need to study medicine, but it's also taught me to not be afraid to make mistakes. And it taught me to have a belief that you can do anything you set your mind to. I played a lot of sport at Talbot Heath and this showed me the importance of good teamwork skills. I also made many fantastic friends who I'm still in contact with um, to this day due to the fact that we work very closely as a team, both when we were playing sport and outside of sport. Due to my job as a doctor, I was lucky enough to study expedition medicine and went on a trip to Everest Base Camp in 2007. My advice to you would be believe in yourself, use your mistakes as a learning opportunity and be kind to everyone. Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Courtney Bryant and I was at TH from 2004 to 2009 and I'm now a professional athlete competing in the sport of athletics and I represent Great Britain in 1500, 3000 and 5000 metres and I've won medals at the Commonwealth Games and Europeans. Um, during my time at school, I was quite successful in um, school competitions and nationals, representing Toby Heath um, and Dorset schools. And TH were always very accommodating, whether I was traveling at the weekend and I needed a little bit of extra time just to get homework or um, any assignments done, they were always really good. But I just realized as I got older during my GCSEs that I needed to take this kind of uh, my own ownership really. and plan ahead, be more organised because if this is what I wanted to do, I needed to make sure I was ahead of my homework, whether that meant doing it at lunch times or just making these like sacrifices so I knew I could still continue my training as well. And I've always dreamed of running, um, probably since I was about 11, and it's taken me to some incredible places. I've, I'm currently in South Africa for the next month, um, but I've been to Kenya, um, America, all across Europe. I've raced in Australia, Taiwan, um, so back when I was at TH I could never have dreamed that this would be my life, that I get to go around the world training, racing, uh, representing Great Britain, um, representing New Balance as well. Um, so it is really a dream come true, but it has taken a lot of hard work to get here and you know, it's a lot of commitment and just yeah, there's been a lot of setbacks in, on the way. It hasn't just been an overnight success. So I've started running at age 11 and I got my first GB burst at 21. Um, so I worked really, really hard to get that. And, you know, I was really pleased with that, but I didn't actually perform very well at that championships. And after that, it kind of told me that I needed to work harder, I needed to make more sacrifices, I needed to change my mindset more. And three years later, I won the Commonwealth Games medal. So I think resilience and determination, all these things and self-motivation and especially believing in yourself is so important. Um, whether that's professional sport or in any career path you choose that, or even in life, you have to believe in yourself. Um, and I think for me, once I started really truly believing in myself and I, everything kind of came together, I have always been very committed, very determined. Um, but more recently, a few years where I've had little setbacks, my races haven't gone to plan. Uh, recently, I've had a, a very serious injury, which put me out of running for three months. It's definitely given me more, a more of an appreciation of what I do. And I've just become more resilient because of this. And I know I can get through anything having gone through this. So the most important message I want to give to you all is just to dream big. Um, and believe in yourself, back yourself, whatever you want to do. Um, just, yeah, have some self-motivation because whatever you want to achieve in life, um, in any career path, in sport, you definitely can do. It was a fast race, it produced some personal bests, uh, none more importantly than one for Melissa Courtney. Four minutes, 3.44, and it was a gutsy performance, particularly in the home straight where she had a real battle with Lyndon Hall of Australia to hang on for this bronze medal for Wales. And what a proud moment for her.